Hi, and welcome to my health and gardening channel. My name's Stacy, and I'm going to be making a uh, little series on saving my clones. Now, as you can see, here's the little clones right here. Now, these came off a mother that had started to bud, and I quickly took clones off it. So, you can see there's still little hairs on here and this and that. Well, and also, I took a bunch of clones at the same time. Half of them I put outside. The other half I kind of put underneath the homemade cabinet that we built. And put 24-7 light on them. And I kind of forgot about them. So, in the plastic cups that they were in, cups probably about a oh, 16 ounce cup, uh, the dirt had dried right out and separated from the walls of the cup and you can see some green in there fungus growing or uh, maybe a little mold or something so what I did was I took and I replanted them in these little containers here and when I did I watered it with uh, ionic silver and this is supposed to kill bacteria fungus and all this good stuff or all the bad stuff I mean but uh, everything that this had this ionic silver should kill so I replanted it. I'm going to run this test to see if I can get them to grow up. Um, let me see. I do have a, another video on how to make the ionic silver if this does work. But I'm going to make this little series to try and show everyone right from this crap stage. I'm going to try and grow these up to be healthy plants. Using all this different stuff. Techniques that I've learned and this and that. And one... I'm going to give this uh, a CO2 blast and I know I had some problems before inside the soil sometimes you get some bugs that are living and those bugs could infest, infest your uh, plants so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a blast of CO2 here I did this yesterday I'm going to do this uh, two or three four times and hopefully that CO2 will kill all of the bugs that are in the soil and what else I've done is I've seen someone, YouTuber, that did a CO2 blast. Take a two gallon, or a one gallon jug, and we're going to put oh, some vinegar in it, probably about an inch, two inches of vinegar in there. And then I've attached hoses, which I glued on. And the hose comes from the, the one gallon jug into the two gallon down at the bottom and another hose comes out and this is where I'll be spraying my plants and the reason for this is as you can see I got some water in here this is vinegar from when I dropped in uh, baking soda inside the vinegar the pressure and the gas release and all the pressure sent some of the vinegar out through the tube there was so much pressure in here and we don't want that on our plants so this is why we have this second jug here to catch any of the any of the vinegar runoff and then from there you will get only gas coming out of here your co2 and what's good about this is uh oh and here's my here hopefully you can see this here are two little co2 bombs that i made i'm just going to drop this down inside put the cover on give it a shake and then it'll start dispersing co2 in here Something else I wanted to tell you was, if you happen to have spider mites, very hard, they're hard, can be hard to get rid of. So what I would suggest doing is taking, if it's in just one plant, take, wrap it up in a, in a garbage bag, big garbage bag, seal that garbage bag, and just pump some CO2 down in there. And this will kill off your spider mites. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this, oh, every three days for... Uh, maybe four different times because you might kill your spider mites at first but then the eggs that are there will hatch and you'll get more spider mites so do this in like three day intervals and you should be able to kill all your spider mites so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give a couple inches an inch or two of vinegar put this in a two liter jug Now 
Now with this whole video series that I'm doing right here about the clones, I am going to try and take what might have been uh, crappy clones, uh, they might die, they might this and that. I'm trying to take these <coughs> and make healthy plants out of them. Hopefully this test, I'm going to show you step by step everything I do. And if they die, I'll show you that they die. If they turn out healthy, we'll show you that too. Alright, now, now that I have this done, I'm going to put my hose inside my inside my bag here with my plants. Let me see how I can do this. Alright. And then I'm going to close up my bag. Now I put a couple bottles in here just so that I could hold up the garbage bag so the garbage bag would not be falling on my plants. And let's see. I'm just going to tie up the garbage bag so I can keep the CO2 in there. Alright, garbage bag is sealed up. Now, I have my vinegar in my jug here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the bombs and drop it down in and quickly put the cover on before it really starts foaming up. And let me show you. Hopefully you can hear this too. You're going to see the gas is coming up out of here, going in here, and then we're putting the gas right inside here. And you can see pressure's building up. This bottle's getting pretty hard. And you can see here bubbles of the gas being forced into the second container. And then all the gas is going in the garbage bag. And then we're going to get a bunch of CO2 in there for the plants. They love that. So, here's what else I'm going to do. I'll show you. And you can shake it up. And you'll see that it starts producing more CO2. We're going to wait here just a minute. And this will be good. I know a bunch of people. I hear a lot of places. People are saying, uh, I've got spider mites. What can I do to get rid of them? Whew. Yep, this is one thing you can do. Now, if you have a lot of plants that are infected with spider mites, what you can do is go go to a shop or something and you can pick up CO2 tanks. And I've seen some people that will buy a great big CO2 tank. They will have a room that's kind of sealed. And they'll turn on that CO2 and they'll walk out and they'll leave it for a day. And, and this will kill your uh, mites. But if you only have one or two plants or something small like this, I'd just do it inside a garbage bag. Yep, and as you can see, alright, that one's about done. So now, I'm going to drop in my second one. And then I'm just going to leave, I'm going to leave this. And we'll most likely leave this so for a few hours anyway. Everything that I'm doing here, I hope, will get these plants to come back to life for me. Alright, there we go. You can see, oh, it's bubbling up pretty good in there now. The gas is coming through here, and here, and I'm over to our plants. And with the bag being all tied up, it contains that CO2 in there. The plants are going to love this. Spider mites, going to hate it. Alright, well that's it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and follow along. I'm going to take you right through uh, growing growing your weed right from uh, old clones right all the way up to harvest. And here's my, here's a batch that I have hanging up right here. These didn't get too, too very big, but they're drying out nicely and make for some nice smoke or oil. Not not really a lot there, but 
we're going to be making oil with everything we grow. All right, please like, subscribe, and we'll be back with our next video here, hopefully within a few days. Thanks.